them beautiful people and welcome back to whatever this episode is because I don't know if it's the finale or not so I guess we just go along with it so if it's the finale it's the finale if it's not then there'll be one more episode after it it might want to stick around and find out if it is or not because as I said it just really just depends how victory road turns out because that's what we're up to so I'm I'm gonna make a safe assumption and say that it's the finale Though, there is another question, and that is, am I ready? I generally don't know if I'm ready or not. So, as I explained in the previous episode, I may try and sneak in one last sneaky grinding session, a five minute one at that, just to make sure I am ready, which doesn't make much of a difference. Um, well, it won't make much of a difference, generally, because if I'm not ready, then uh, the game's just gonna kick my ass. And guess what? I don't know how to get through the victory road. It's It's been a very long time, and keep in mind, I have memorized... Oh, this thing has Shadow Tag, so we're not getting anywhere. Um, I have played so many Pokemon games. Memorizing all the victory roads is actually a bit of a pain. So I'm going to try and wing it. I'm hoping I don't need Flash, because that was the only thing I was thinking about before I hit the record button was, oh, if I need Flash, then someone has to come out of this team. Because I ain't teaching anyone Flash. But I think I've got to go the other way. I think I've got to go west first. I think. Or I do this in the dark. That's the other thing I can do. I know for a fact though at the end of the victory road that we've got to do a wally battle. And I should probably throw a repel on. I mean I know I'd love- Oh you know what? Heck why not? Oh of course you got a lovely kiss. It's asleep. Lucky I didn't get it in the grinding montage, or not the montage, like the grinding session previous episode, because I would have been sleeping on the job. Um, I don't think this thing can take me out because it's got like overheat at the very worst. And that I survive very well. I just want like one bit of experience, and then I can get level 43, and that'll make me happy. Yeah, this thing has nothing. Fast asleep. And I may as well just stick around because Aero blasted a lot to me in the previous encounter, so I'll heal up and then I'll throw a repel on. I'm also kind of hoping too, I've hit the record button and also just then realized I might have a honk at the front door because I'm supposed to have a parcel rock up today from EV Games and it's like the VR motion controls to play most of the VR games. I was like, oh yes, and then I just realized, oh, I'm probably going to be recording. Hopefully not when they rock up, so hope they don't rock up for another hour or so and so I can do this in peace because otherwise I'm going to have to like do a cut and then grab my parcel and go back to recording, which may end up happening anyway, so Repel's just gone on and I've gone the wrong way. Yellow Shard, that was totally worth going for by the way. Oh, and their trainer's down here, alright, so I know... Um, I'm pretty sure I've got to go west, so let's do that. And I can't remember if this dude's going to have like, more powerful Pokemon than me. He's got two Pokemon, Medicham at level 43. Same level as me, Drought, so the sun's rays have intensified. Strength that. It's definitely not going to be a one-shot then. That's, that's one tanky boy. And I'm not badly poisoned at least. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't go and buy myself more full heal, was because I'm very low on them. All thanks to like the previous grinding montage. I don't want to do that. Let's go karate chop. No, you resist that, don't you? You have nightshade, so I, I just gotta keep strengthening you. Ouch. I wonder if I should just swap. Should I swap or should I stay? I think I'm gonna swap seems like the best decision and then go into bully and just body slam my dear what I, I lucky I swapped because that would have done some damage it would have been a lot of damage that's for sure so body slam or the other thing I was just thinking about too that they might wow well, they did nothing I was just thinking about that they could potentially do is do what they normally do I, this is like Something they're notorious for, by the way, is Australian Post. Um, they leave your parcel on the bin. In like the most unsafe place of all, because it says, We'll leave in mailbox 
or somewhere safe. And when I got that message, I was like, well, maybe I should redirect it to, like, the closest post office to make sure that it rocks up safe and they don't do that. But yeah, it's just like, typical Australia post just does the complete opposite and doesn't even realise what a safe place is. Oh my god, this Mater Cham is so tanky. This has, must have so much... Uh... What about Crunch? I was gonna say, unless it's like a steel... T oh yeah, there we go. Its special defense is trash, but its defense is like through the bloody roof. Alright, I can take another hit from there. Goodbye, you pain in the rear side. Damn, so I gotta keep in mind if I come across any more Medi Champs in this episode, just go for Crunch or a special move because I don't like it. Alright, Pichu! I should be able to take that down because it's a baby, so it should have bad randomization on its stats. Pichu! Alright, Godspass, I know you're poisoned. You don't like that, do you? Ah, uh, we'll go for... Yeah, I probably have to go to a Pokemart before I go any further because I was like, oh yeah, I, I probably should go... Uh, stock up on some full heals and probably some full restores too. I should rather buy them for the Lily Cove department store. And there's no more encounters either because we technically would have seen our encounter in the previous episode, but I was like, nah, I'm not going to catch, catch that because there's no point. That was not very effective, but who cares? This is Godspars. He doesn't play by the rules. Alright, impossible, is it? You bad. Ow, ow, ow. That hurt. That hurt my eyes. Huh, Alright, I could have actually gone around that way and just seen if where that took me. But yeah, I, I kind of really need to make a bit of a duck off back to Lily Cove. And do a heal too. Get some of my PP back. Ooh, not a very good start to the episode. All right, heal up my Pokemon. Thank you for waiting. They're now at full health. We hope to see you again. Well, I hope not myself, but yeah, that might be the case. Um, I'm gonna need to go to floor two because that's where the full restores are, I think. Oh, you don't sell them. You have max potions. Hi, uh, full restores are at the Elite Four, unfortunately, so I kind of need, like... Ah? Uh, no full heals? Where's my full heals? There's my full heals. Lily Cove actually sold Pokeballs. Why not come back here and get Pokeballs? Okay, that's for me. I might just stock up with some more Hyper Potions. Why not? And then get like another 15 of them. Actually, I might go 20. I've got like a lot of money. Kills. And then like just before the Elite Four, I'm just going to like sell all my stuff. Because I don't need them. I mean, there's going to be like probably no more episodes after this. Unless I decide to do like post-game stuff. That could be a thing. But um, yeah, just depending on like how all this goes. Anyways, back to Evergrande City. Ah, got to put that concentration stuff on high. Got to really concentrate. Because, you know, this is hard. Is my repel still on just by any chance? I'm like looking at my CPU. It was like just suddenly went up. I was like, wow, uh, that's a problem. So if I had to make a sudden cut for whatever reason, it's because my CPU is just, oh, then it's good now. I was like, whoa, that went up very high. Um, super repel. Okay, it's already gone. Because, like, sometimes if my CPU hits a certain amount of percent, the videos start going weird. It's like, ooh, that's a bit scary. Anyways, going on, like, what's going on here? Need her in mail, level 44. My god, they're climbing. Oh, this trace is huge power. Let's get it rid of that now. I don't want that hitting me with some massive... I thought I saw someone rock up just then. I was like, oh, no honk. The only problem was like, just you mainly at the front, and you're in the middle of a video. If someone honks at the front door, it's like, oh, oh, I need flash. Ah, oh, great. 
And Flash is a HM in this gym. Oh, great. And my repel wore off, didn't it? It's a lady bar, it's all good, I can run away from that. Um, I'm gonna need to bring back a Flash Pokemon. Um, I, I can't teach anyone Flash, can I? Like, is there someone with, like, a useless move that I can get rid of? I mean, Godspars does have Ingrain, I guess I can get rid of that. But the problem is, though, if I learn another move, then I can't get rid of it. Alright, I might have to take Blissey out. <sighs> Actually, I don't know. Who do I want to take out? Dobbs doesn't get much use. I mean, whoa. That would have been nice to verse. Run away from that. I might take Dobbs out. Because, like, normally Dobbs isn't all that great. And if I do need to swap out to get rid of, like, a water resistance or some odd reason, Dobbs is kind of, like, hold me back a little bit. Because if I come across a fighting type Pokemon, it's not a safe swap in. I've got plenty of weakness to fighting at the moment. So Dobbs can take a bit of a rest. I need to find my Flash Pokemon. Who is my Flash? Is it Dugon? I've taught Flash to someone already. No, it's not you. Who do I teach Flash? Actually, did I have room for Flash? Can I just give this Flash? Alright, it has Volt Tackle, so I can just use Tay Tay. And I may even pick up some items just before the Elite Four, too. They won't be very good because of its level, but. Return of Tay Tay! Oh, yeah, that's a timestamp because that's a layout change. Um, let's do Flash. Teach you Flash and get rid of Volt Tackle, and then now we can get through there. This only just speed up, just hopefully, the accuracy of getting through Victory Road. That's mainly because otherwise I wouldn't actually teach it Flash. Well, if it helped... Well, it would have helped a lot, though, if I actually knew, did know how to get through Victory Road without Flash, but that's not the case. As I said, I barely just remember how to... Oh, my repel wore off, apparently. Um, I just know how to get through here myself. Like, I have some slight idea where I'm going. That's the very best I can give you, though. Any other, uh, Victory Road? Yeah, I, I definitely know where I'm going. Just not this one. I have no idea why, but third generation's Victory Road has always kind of given me problems. Flash. I never have got a surf past a certain bit. Right, I can strength past these. This will get me past this first bit. And down here. Uh, do I need a rock? No, that leads me to items. I have to go this way. Right, rock smash both of these and then I just move them up and down. Okay, they're out the way. Down. Up. Then we go down. Oh, trainer. Alright. Um, you need the trust of your Pokemon. I do believe, miss, that my Pokemon trust me very well. I mean, if they've made it this, this far into the Nuzlocke, yeah, they trust me a lot. Trust me. I swear, I just keep... I'm having one of those moments where you, you think... Like, you know someone's coming and then you just, like, imagine that they're rocking up and all that, but they're actually not here. I'm having one of those moments and I hate it so much. Right, so strength that... Please don't hit yourself in confusion. No, you hit yourself in confusion, don't you? Now, please just don't. Oh my god, that did so much damage! That must have did swagger or something. I was, was not paying attention. Oh, you get brought up. Um, I need to heal while you're here then. I mean, hey, Politoed, if you really want to take someone out, you can take out Lapras because it's just been my HM slave, then, you know, that's not really much of a big deal. No, I didn't do swagger, I just did dizzy punch. Why did I hit myself so hard? Right, there's another Dizzy Punch. My hoe just like lives like a tank. I'm just gonna let Lapras die because like it's a HM slave at this point. Kills! Now I can bring out Dunsparce. I'm sorry, I don't normally sack Pokemon off like that, but it had to be used for fodder. Because this is ridiculous. Is my defense dropped or something? I don't remember D Dizzy Punch doing that much. Wow. Heal yourself then. 
my defense or something like that must have dropped and I didn't even realize it. No, it couldn't have dropped because I just walked back in. Oh, it's not very effective. I only just noticed that. I am not paying attention. Why am I not paying attention? This is how I died in the past. Hey, karate chop. That's super effective. Oh, I lived on one HP. Are you serious? Fine, you go for your dizzy punch. I guess that's karma, of course, for me for not paying attention. Right, that's a pain in the rear side down. Right, Blaze again, level 34. My boy, he's nearly there. He's like six levels off being, like, usable. My poor boy. He's been out for most of the game, but he's, he's now ready to jump on the field soon. I'm so proud of him. He's worked so hard on that bench. While he's watching everyone else play, he's been lifting them weights. And he's like, one day, one day, they will call me on the field and I will make them proud. And I run straight into a dead end. I love it when I run into dead ends. That wasn't the way I wanted to go. Maybe here? Where's this going? Oh, this might be the right way. I don't care what you gotta say. I've made it here because of my Pokemon. They're the best. As I said, if they made it this far in, you know, extreme randomite. Oh no. This boy. I remember this boy. He has bide. And he killed a Pokemon. I nearly killed Kai's Feather Dance. I'm generally curious to know where Arcanine's feathers are though. Ah, oh, you've got for a store. So annoying, because I know you're going to have Bide behind there somewhere. Damn. Should I just go double edge and hope for the best? Come on. Yeah, so close. It's got a feigned attack. Let's go, go karate chop on that. Take that out. So close to for knocking it out with double edge. All right, whoopa! Should I heal or should I not? I'm probably gonna heal just to play it very safe. I got some soda pops left. I wonder if I should have stocked up on some so soda pops just to have some small recovery here and there so I'm not lucky I did heal. Don't crit. That boy can hit big, that's for sure. I, I remember Wooper, so I was like, I'm pretty sure the last time I went up against a Wooper, it, it fired a super power off at me and it threw me off guard and nearly killed. Okay, go for submission, that won't do as much this time thanks to super power. That will do some recall damage though. Okay, go for strength. And this should kill because it got a defense drop. Wooper! I'm actually now generally thinking when I do get to Elite Four, I might head off back to Slateport and get myself some Soda Pops. Like, they're extremely handy because I don't want to be popping my Hyper Potions or even full restores. Like, for a small amount of HP, I kind of want to... I, I'm definitely going the right way. I remember this. Now I need to go up a waterfall, I do believe. Up the waterfall, I think. Is there a ladder over here? I don't think... No, I think I've got to go down the waterfall and then I go up. Uh, I don't think this is right. No, I think I was actually on the right side. This is the part I get confused on because I think I was on the right side to begin with. And it's down. I gotta take this way up. Then take there. Ah, oh, it's an item, never mind. TM20. Another TM, I guess that's handy. If it, this is the wrong way, then I can easily turn around and go the right way. Swift, I think we've had Swift already. Oh, we can buy Swift. That's why I've seen it. Just dodge that. Oh no, we versed that trainer, didn't we? Didn't I just try and bypass her? I'm confused. 
We keep going, I guess, until I work this out. Gyarados, that's a wee bit scary. Strength, you. Sleep powder from Gyarados, that's a wee bit weird. I don't know where Gyarados can pull some powder from, but it apparently happened. Luckily, I've got some full, uh, some full heals because I think I'm nearly out of chestos. Right, psychic. How much is that going to do? Not much at all. Ah, uh, stop pulling off the sleep powder. I'm fast asleep again. I think that's been my most common status so far. This episode has been sleep. All right, don't put me back to sleep, please. Much appreciated. Well, it would be much appreciated. Stop putting me to sleep. Oh, damn it. I think sleep powder at this point too might have decent accuracy too, because it's like the old generations, it was somewhat decent. This is very annoying. This Gyarados knows what to do, and it's using like four metal stones. What did it have before? Psychic. I kind of wish now I didn't throw Dobbs in the box. Because Dobbs is a dark type and Psychic would not have affected it. My god, please stop using sleep powder. That's very annoying. I am asleep yet again. Full hell. Wow, and it loves spamming that metal sound, so it really wants to go for that psychic when you're at like negative six. Oh my, I was gonna say, please miss. I don't know, oh my goodness, that did not do anything. Crunch. This is a tanky boy. And again, my special attack isn't all that great, so crunch isn't really a thing to go off of. But I'm asleep once again. That's nothing new at this point. This Gyarados is really burning through my full heals. Okay, that does nothing. I think at this point I'm just gonna just go for that. I did use a full heal, didn't I? Okay, go for the psychic boy. Oh, my phone vibrated. Oh, well. Phone, I, I don't particularly want to change the personality of you. Because why? Because you're fine as the way you are. I don't need to go complicated. Though I might put a nice wallpaper of Aster on there someday. Oh my dear lord, I'm gonna put a sleep powder in Gyarados just so every time I poke the bloody screen, I'm poking Gyarados because this is annoying. I'm asleep yet again for like the tenth time in this one battle. And for some odd reason, yeah, I finally wake up on the first go. That's awesome. I was like, and for some odd reason, sleep powder's only missed once. That's not funny. I am asleep again. At the moment, this battle is actually putting me to sleep. This is not fun by any means. This is, this is just BS. It's a matter of just waiting and biding my time. I just bit my tongue. That hurt. Fast to sleep still. Please, bully, don't sleep on the job because I kind of still need you around. Like, for the E4, so can you please wake up and just finish thing this thing off? Thank you. God, that took so long to kill that. And we're not even done yet. There's a Teddy Ursa. I'm hoping that's not as annoying as that Gyarados. And I've still got one big battle left too in this victory road. I've got Wally to still take out, so that's a problem and a half. I gotta hope that Wally doesn't have a full team of like legendaries, and that was not very effective. And not on top of that too, reflect. Oh my god, you have detect as well. Reflect and detect. You are going down next turn, that's for sure. No, 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 no. You have done enough trolling for one battle, sir. No more. No more. That's torture. I thought I've already been through the tort. Oh, wait, this isn't sir, this is ma'am. That was annoying. I have been through enough torture in this series as it is just to not end it on that note. And you took up, like, quite a lot of time there as well, miss. I don't like you. Oh. Okay, I must have to go down then. 
Because we went around the entire way. Or... Or... Or maybe? What's in the middle? I, there, there's a trainer in the middle. Maybe? I generally cannot remember. My brain is like frying at the moment just trying to remember which way I've got to go. It's like a trainer in the middle. I can't remember if I've got to stop at him and then go down a ladder there. I'm going to be very mad if that's what I had to do. Right, just bust through here just to double check. I know I'm going the right way because the fl Oh no, I am going the right way. Thank God. So it's like if I get here and the flash disappears, I know I'm going the right way because the e exit is on floor one. And then like you go down and then you end up going back up. Alright, hit on top. Level 44. Go strength. I have le leper berries if I need to recover PP at this point too. Alright, hit on top gets one shotted by strength. That's like what I'd like to see. Not like that Gyarados, level 35. I wonder if Blaziken will be usable in Elite 4 if it hits level 40. That I'm generally curious by. Okay, I should be able to proceed with Dunsparce having taken that much health. Last battle for the Victory Road and just before the Elite 4 as well. You are not going to lose anymore, hey? It's a shame this isn't Omega Ruby up for Sapphire. This would be like one of the most epic fights. Five Pokemon League with an Iggly buff. Right, we're gonna strength that. Let's hope for no Wonder Guard Pokemon. I, I still touch wood. We haven't seen one of them for a little while. It was like a center of the playthrough. We saw so many Wonder Guard Pokemon. Although at the moment it looks like Wally has a full baby team at the moment. That's hilarious. I actually would like to see someone play through. Um, any game just using the baby Pokemon. It's like Eaglybuff, Pichu, Tyrogue, Pleffa, Smoochum. I, that'd be quite entertaining to watch, actually. So I know Pichu gets some really interesting breeding moves, like Nasty Plot and all that. That'd work very well. It learns Grass on as well. Thunderbolt hits very hard, too, with, when you've got a plus two up on Pichu, or if you're lucky to get a plus four as well, that hits like a beast. Like, that thing's a monster. Oh yeah, I was like, oh, I'm going to get place to curse on, but I was like, wait, it's randomized typing, and it's not a ghost type. It is, however, an annoying rock or steel... Oh yeah, I forgot this annoying thing. Came in before and ruined my bloody day with flame body. Um, let's use... Let's use the raw sperry. Get rid of that burn. Going for another curse. So if I get a crit on Karate Chop, that's going to be awesome. Alright, Tech Rose. Defense Rose and Speed's going to drop. Karate Chop on this one. That's new. Oh my god, that did nothing. Um, should I just go into Grand Bull? I want to hope for a crit, so I'm going to stay in. I'm probably going to get burned in the process, though. This person's very eager to get their stats up. One crit should take this out too. Super Potion. That's the first time I've seen an NPC do that. My god. Come on, crit! So we know it's got flame body, not crit protection. So please, can I have a crit? I beg of you, sir. Can I please have another crit? Not another burn. I'm just gonna stay burnt. Bubble. It sets up all those pluses in attack. Just to use bubble. Oh my god, can I please have a crit? I don't want to swap, because that, if that does have a physical move, anyone's dead at this point. I should probably heal, shouldn't I? Just in case it does go for a crit bubble. Um, this is annoying. Like, it has so many boost in defense, and I'm not getting a crit. Though I find it hilarious, though. It does have a plus six in attack, and it's going for bubble, which is special. And I said there's no point healing burn, because I have to use karate chop. There's our crit. 
but the burn really hurt it there. Alright, so it has Curse, Bubble, Leer. Another Super Potion. Okay, interesting. Oh my god. Please, can you do, like, some more damage? Another Bubble. I might swap. Like, I can't do anything with Dunsparce. Um, I can go into Blissey. Blissey has all bloody s Yeah, I'm gonna have to, though. Because Bubble can't hit me. And that can use give me some chance to set up some recovery on Dunsparce. And I'll get rid of Burn as well. Right, gonna drop my defense. Not like you can do anything with it. Um, Rawsberry. I have two left. All because of this damn Mistrevis. My thumb is actually really sore at the moment. Still, I'm curious to see what its last move is. Missed with Clamp. Of course I did. So far I'm having like really unlucky runs at the moment with... I just got like two Vibrates. What happened there? Oh, I don't know why that just came through then. Right, we finally got the clamp on Clamp Prell, so some residual damage. Let's go Dragon Breath, which is just going to tickle it. Paralysis would be very... Oh, it's got Flail. i got to be careful then. i got to be very careful, because that has like plus something. Yeah, let's be very careful there. If that lives in the red, I'm in a lot of trouble. Okay, I don't think even like a maximum nightshade will take me out at that point. Uh, we'll go seismic toss. I think it might live in the red though. Yep, it did, but it didn't live on like 1 HP, so it's boosted again, but not... Not by that much. Unless it's a crit. That was nasty. <laughs> Don't crit again, please. Though you're dead next turn, so you're not going to get like the 200 base power, but still. Oh my lord, that is still hurting. Seismic toss, get rid of that thing now. That was annoying. Dunsparce would have gone down because that had like a negative 4 or something like that in defense. And my flame body goes off again. Level 42 for Blissey. Whew, what's last? Oh my lord, you've got a grout on. Okay, at least I cleared up Dunsparce. This was a hard fight. How did Wally manage up with a bloody grout on? It has Mega Horn. I'm a bug type. As I'm a rock type, thank god. How much is this gonna. Wow, that didn't do much. Um, let's try Karate Chop. That can miss though, so that's kind of a good thing. Okay, not very effective. I think this as actually is a bug type, like a bug type Groudon. I can't believe I've seen like two Groudons now in the span of like two hours. And another Mega Horn that decides to land. Can you stop? Landing your Mega Horns! This is just as bad as that Gyarados that kept letting Sleep Powder. Uh, if it crits, I'm dead, so let's heal. I hate this fight! I am going through so many potions at the moment. Oh, thank you! You finally missed! That's a big mercy. I'm out of PP! Ah, double-edged it is then. You missed again, thank you. Come on, take it out. Give me one big double edge. Oh, why? Why did you live on one HP? All right, you're down anyways. Oh my lord, that was not the fight I wanted to see. Whew, that was not easy. That whole fight was just like big pain in my rear side. All right, that took way longer than expected. Alright, finally we're out of here. Okay, straight to the Pokemon Center, and then as I said, we'll probably just heal up like a bunch- uh, sorry, sell up a bunch of things. 
and then buy like full restores. I might go back and get some soda pops, just do some small recovery, that way I'm not burning into a lot of money and or potions. Um, I used up a lot of hyper potions along the way. I was not, I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to have some hyper potions left. 14 is all I can buy. Eh. <laughs> oh boy. That didn't turn out very well at all. Alright, we got some TMs to sell, I know that. So block can go. It's thousand. Sand attack can go. Heal bell can go. Um, wish could potentially go to. What about my actual bag? What can I sell? I think I had a pearl I picked up. Um, sunstone, maybe. I know, I don't want to get rid of anything just in case I decide to do post content, but I think maybe for the post content I'll take off um, the Nuzlocke rules. Yellow shard. Yikes, I am not left with a lot of money, am I? I can only buy one more full restore. That's it. That's all I can buy. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Oh boy. Oh well, I guess it just comes down to what Pokemon I get in Elite Four. And then from there, as I said, it's just gonna have to be good luck. Right, well. It's all or nothing, baby. Because, baby, it's all or nothing now. I can't go back and I can't save now. Just got to do it. I've just got to do it. We've made it this far. So I guess we just trek forward. And at this point, if I lose, and yeah, it doesn't matter. This would be the finale either way. Okay, just believe in yourself and your Pokemon and step forward. Right. Uh, I guess we just lead with Dunsparce. I'm so sad I don't have another Pokemon I could use because I potentially could have th actually thrown Mew there. Why didn't I think of that? Right. We just do this. I'm going to have to hope that I have a whole bunch of weak Pokemon and no legendaries. That's all I've got to hope for. This is where all the deaths are probably going to happen. Not like I'm not used to that or anything. I've had a... Alright, Tyrogue straight up level 46. Dunsburst is level 44. That's not that bad. I mean, it's two levels behind at the moment, but they will hit the 50s, that's for sure. I have no idea I'm going to go for, like, champion itself because none of my Pokemon are in the 50s at all. Nowhere even close. Knocked out level 48. Oh, boy. Oh boy, that didn't do much at all. It's my boy Noctowl. It's Nocturne! My boy! He learnt Sunny Day. He's still trash anyways. I wouldn't have kept him. Not with that move. He would have needed a lot more hidden power. Did he actually learn hidden power naturally? And why is it super effective? You're still not that good, Noctowl. You wouldn't have stayed on the team. You would have died eventually. You were still only good. You were still only good for weakening Pokemon. See, you trash. This is why he died, people. I feel I love how this game's just suddenly gone full circle and just showing me Noctowl getting a full restore on the Elite Four. The game's like, see, you should have caught set no Noctowl. To that, I say no. Still not good enough. Um. Strength again. Giga Drain. That might do some damage. It did do some damage. Right, sunlight finally faded. Time to throw up a um, hyper potion here. I also have a la um, lava cookie too if I have to really fall back on something. Okay, Giga Drain. Oh my god, he's healing! Youch. That's not going to be enough to stop me, though. You're going to have to, like, tank a couple of strengths here, Noctel. Swapping between hidden pet. Oh, my God! I think Noctel got sick of the taunting there. It was like, you got to taunt me? 
Fine, have a critical hit, hidden power while you're at it then. And now he's just gonna heal. He's like, yeah, I'm sick of your BS. Um, what can I do at this point? Because this is getting ridiculous. I can't actually take this thing out all that well. I wonder if I can take it out with Blissey. Right, let's do this. Right, Giga Drain? That shouldn't do all that much. It's not very effective for one. So not that much healing for you. The problem is though, I don't have very much to like, actually do anything to you. Giga Drain. He's trying to Giga Drain back up. That's curious. The curious case of Giga Draining Noctowl. Okay, I finally cram clamped you. So, residual damage for the win. Finally going for our hidden power. We'll find if it's ground. It's not. I think it's fighting. Alright, not a lot of damage because it's Blissey. For some odd reason, Blissey just can't hit hard or this Noctowl is very defensive. I think it was actually very defensive because I do remember it living for a very long time on a low he level. But yeah, it's definitely sucking away my PP at the moment. Not fun. Right, finally down. You took a lot of hits and you weren't very fun to fight. Still doesn't justify you being on the team. Flail for Keenan. I seriously do wish Keenan was a little bit higher level. Because that would have helped out a lot, having like a special attacker on the team, just in case I do come across any big defensive walls like that, because climbing them's not very, very easy to do. Strength. That's going to just miss the kill there. Transform into a steel type. That's not going to matter because I got karate chop. Right, you're down. Right, last Pokemon is Beauty Fly. Oh no, second last Pokemon is Beauty Fly. Strength on you? Level 49, that's his signature. That was like Shift Re normally. Going for the Meditate. Come on, go for Max Roll. Max Roll, please. Max, big damage. Big damage. Now, nah, that was a lot worse damage. Definitely wanting to one shot me there with some Fizz. Oh, yeah, that was definitely the Shift Re. I think shift no, it's Absol that normally has the citrus. I think I should know Sydney pretty well considering he's a dark type trainer. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, it's definitely Absol that would have been. Oh my god, another Venusaur! This is my third Venusaur I've seen just recently. I can't remember what this had. Magic coat. That was the best it had. All right, just keep strengthening it. I'm definitely going to use a leper berry though after this. And karate chop. Oh. Yeah, I will need to use a leper. Thank thankfully I've got a lot of them. That didn't do very much. Can you stop using spite? I may have 25 bloody karate chops, but I gotta use them sparingly. Ugh. Don't go two, thank you. So I've lost five there just from spite. Oh, I lost eight. I'm out of strength. Oh, Spite took the very last of my strength. And there's a bloody full restore. Oh, I'm going to swap. <sighs> yeah, that didn't do very much at all. Alright, I'm going to have to swap. I've got, like, no other choice here. Um... I wonder if Blissey... Oh, this... Oh, the fact that Keenan's the only special attack I have and it doesn't have a lot of level at the moment really is hurting. It's behind by, like, ten levels. Um... Right, Nightshade it is, because I think... Pretty sure Crunch is resisted. Right, extra sensory. What I might also do too, because I got bulk up on Ferret. 
that could be an also another option I can do. Pretty sure as well it had like nice special defense. Oh my lord, that dropped it by five. I'm gonna be using a lot of leopard berries, I think, so hopefully I've got at least ten of them. Venusaur finally bit the dust. Oh my lord, that if anything, if that's a thing to judge off like the rest of my experience in Elite Four, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I think we're gonna lose. I'm not I'm all not that I'm not very confident now. Yeah, you, it's safe to say my confidence has dropped. Considering the fact I had to walk in here and like very little money too. Like I've got to be very careful of what what I use to heal. Leopard berry now. I have four leopard berries. Are you serious? Yikes. In general, I'm just gonna be very careful. Um, I guess we go for it. For it, you're gonna have to make yourself useful here. One down, four to go. Hold on, Phoebe, uh, what's her face? Gloria, Drake, yep, there's four left. Whew! Alright, this is gonna be a bit of a fight. Alright, so if Dobbs is now in the lead, I'm just gonna bulk up, bulk up, bulk up, bulk up, and hope that I don't come across something that resists me. Alright, Loudred first up, level 48. Dobbs is only like six levels behind. Fine whip straight up, not doing that much damage. So just bulk up, bulk up, bulk, bulk up. Gotta get those gains on that ferret. This is my legitimate strategy that we're going to do. It's it's probably going to work, and I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. So if anything wants to come in, it's going to have to survive a plus six. Problem is though, ancient power doesn't have a lot of PP. But if that's the case, and I do rely on this strategy, I do have a PP max. It's just a shame we don't have a lot of PP restoring moves because Bulk Up doesn't have a lot of PP either. Never mind that strategy then. I wonder if Blaziken will live if I went for Eruption. I don't even like Outspeed. It still will hit hard, but it's not going to hit as hard as like a full burst Eruption. That still did very well, considering how far behind I am. Um, Dragon Claw. Oh, withdrawing? Psyduck. Oh my lord, that's level 50. That's a dragon type. Oh my lord, that did a lot. Ooh, I wonder if I... Ooh. Uh-oh. One second, I have to make a cut here. I'm back. The postman did rock up just then with my stuff. So, the question is, do I outspeed? I do outspeed! I take it out with Keenan! Hell yeah! Good boy! Whew! Told you Keenan would be good! Alright, Loudred coming back. Alright, so at the moment, I know Loudred has Vine Whip. What if I can go... No, it wasn't. It was res uh, neutral. Uh, might just go Dragon Claw again. Not doing a lot of damage there, hey boy! Okay, that's not doing a lot of damage either, so maybe I'd just go Leaf Blade. Let's see what this does. It's resisted. Oh, I still did a crit though. Ah, uh, we go... We go Fire Punch. Took in Sunlight, Solar Beam. Just took it out. Whoa, what is Keenan doing? Keenan just went Super Saiyan. Right, Alakazam, I don't think I want to stay into this. Thank you, Keenan. You saved my butt just there. He just took out two Pokemon and he's like so underleveled. This boy is level 51 though. Hence why I had to take him back. Body slam. Oh my lord, that didn't do very much. Plus four. Yikes. What's Crunch gonna do? Nothing! Oh my lord! I think it's now.
now game over. Da boy. Ouch, that was a big loss. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. What a use jump kick. I'm not gonna outspeed it either. Oh boy. I lived. How much? I don't think this is good. Ugh. I can't believe I lost Bully! Yikes. This is gonna be a hard trek now. This is gonna be a very hard trek. Um. Well, I guess we just keep strengthening and hope I don't get paralyzed or critted. I'm gonna have to heal. Oh my lord, I'm getting my bum kicked at the moment. Oh. Okay, it crashed. Is that a KO? No, it's going to be a heal though. Oh no. It, why does it have rest? Oh my... Oh. I guess I try and go... Uh, I wonder if I can go into... Oh, the problem is though, it's not going to do a lot of damage. Special attack did nothing. I'm going to have to go into, like, God's Bars and just hit it with a double edge. I think at this point this is a loss. Alright, double edge. I'm going to have to go for something. Hard, hit hard with it. Oh! That's down. With only one death. Keenan got a lot of experience there. Cast form. Two Pokemon left. It's getting hard. I don't. Ah. That's a problem. And I've lost my Dark type attacker. Um. Dobbs can only go for like Ancient Power. Blissey can go for Fly. Lapras is dead, by the way, too. Right, water absorb, thank you. I just have to do this. Right, accuracy, uh, sorry, evasion has dropped. Fly. Oh boy. Oh god, what am I gonna do here? What was it using? Clamp. There's like one thing I can do, I guess. It's just the same, we've got nothing now to counter dark. No, sorry, counter ghost. Like, that's a big thing. Kena was psychic fighting. So let's do this. I wonder if, how much it's going to actually do. Like if it's just general all round tanky, I'm screwed. It goes for another sweet scent. I don't think I'm going to outspeed this thing. I do! Oh! We're going to hit with very hard eruption here. Ah! Oh, resist! Ah, oh, yuck. That was very nice damage, though. Alright, so it was a ghost. Ghost didn't resist. Okay, Dragon Claw. Oh lord, that did some damage. We are going to take it out though. Not after a bloody full restore though. Ugh, yikes. If we can at least take out Phoebe, I'm fine with that. As I said, I generally didn't think I was going to make it to Elite Four, so it's not like going to be a big thing. As at this point, I'm not even confident I'm going to even beat this. Like, all my hope just disappeared and got flushed down the toilet when Grand Bull went down. And at the moment, I'm running... Oh, no, because I'm stuck in because of Clamp. 
I wonder if Leaf Blade would do anything. Let's have a look. Now, I think that ghost resisting is what's causing it. Or it's a fight type. I'm dead. Nope. I, I've got no choice. I'm, it's got extreme speed. The floating balls have extreme speed. Second Pokemon down. Yep. I think that's it. That's it. We made it this far. Unfortunately, that's it. We aren't getting any further. I do congratulate this team. No, Keenan especially can... Wow, well, uh, that was actually super effective. It is a fire type, so it's ghost fire. But unfortunately, we just couldn't do it. We couldn't overcome this. I did get a crit. So maybe we will beat Phoebe. Just Phoebe. Um, Shuppet. I really have no choice. I have to stay in. Hey, Shuppet level 49. Let's go jump kick and see what that does. Not very effective. I kind of hate when that happens. So it's like, oh, I'm so limited on what I can do. So I might have to teach Dobbs something. If we decide to continue on or I just let the team die. All this could crit and take me out too. Ancient power. I'm just going to let it die. I, I just don't think I'm going to make it anyways. Like, I have to go into the 50s. And, yeah, for it, level 42. Oh, I actually won. Well, I'm fine with that. I may as well just keep going. And I may as well just see what we would have gone up against in the next fight. But, yeah, it, this is over. This is over. I'm not usually the one who likes to call an early GG, but I think it's over. I don't see us turning this around at all. Like, this is going to be very hard to turn around. I have lost my best Pokemon. Keenan went down, so I've got no special attacker now. And these are in the 50s. Because I know, like, Warrene is like 53 or something like that. Which means I'm like 10 levels behind. That's a big yikes. Right, just how bad was the slaughtering going to be? That's not a very nice welcoming. Hi, Suicune. Please be gentle. Like, please be very gentle. Hyper voice. That's not being gentle. That's... ouch. That's not gentle at all. That's the complete opposite of gentle. I would have loved the rock type here, actually. Well, we can see what jump kick would have done. Oh, it's a ghost type. Well, Dunsparce is going to do nothing because it's a rock. It's a ghost type. I'm dead. Oh. Oh, wow. That did nothing. Yep, that's game. That is game. And I only have like 6 PP too, so... There is no point struggling, I'm just gonna let it happen. You just let it take over! And you just slowly sink to the bottom of this empty ocean. This big, dark, empty ocean. You just let it take you down and you just don't... You don't force, you don't struggle, you just let it happen. I just went for a normal type on an already known ghost type. See, I'm just letting it... It had rock slide too. You, you just you just go down with the ship at this point. Don't even bother fighting. Please crit. <laughs> just please crit. Oh wow, that did crit. <laughs> yep. This is the end. This is the end. And Lapras is already dead. By the way, that was a timestamp me. And we're just gonna go for a double edge. Even though, like, I know none of my moves already affect it, so. You just let it, you just let it kill. Because I had Karate Chop, Ingrain. I lived on like, I had like, hold on. Yeah, I had nothing to hit. That's why I was like, nah, we just. Oh, I even had Triple Kick just to top things off. Yep, that's it, that's game over. Because Lapras is already dead. Lapras died in Victory Road, I do believe. Well, that was 
massively disappointing. Well, I shouldn't say massively disappointing, considering the fact, as I said, I didn't expect this team to even make it to Elite Four. But the fact that we got to at least the third Elite Four kind of does make me a little bit proud. Because it could have been worse. I could have never have made it to Elite Four. But that is it. That's the finale. I don't think I've got any, like, ending words like I normally do. I think I've already said it. It is kind of a little bit disappointing. That's how it turned out. Um... Normally, I would do like an extra episode and be like, this is what these would have done and all that. Had like the spoiler log come up, but I don't even have the spoiler log because I didn't create one because I was like, I don't want the temptation of like spoiling myself, so I didn't do it. Um, unless there is some way of like bringing up the spoiler log, I may do like one extra episode and just be go through like what the Pokemon could have done or something like that, you know, like what Pupita would have evolved into, what it's, that p Pokemon space stats would have been like, uh, what exactly Noctowl could have done back in the day, who else died that we could have had potential out of. Mainly just Pupita, mainly, because like, what that would have evolved into, we could have seen what Salamence could have done. I'm so surprised Noctowl just died there, like that was died so late, it should have died much earlier. Um... I guess we could have looked at, at a few other Pokemon, like what Coughing could have evolved into, what some of these Pokemon could have evolved into, what Mew could have learned. I don't even think if I brought Mew, by the way, that would have made much of a difference. I think Suicune would have just taken me out anyways, because no EV training would have made a big difference. Um, so yeah, if I can figure out a way of getting a spoiler log for this game, where there might be one bonus episode. Um, other than that, though, that's pretty much it. Um... I did say I made three other ROMs, but the fact we made it to Elite Four, I, I feel there's no point doing another ROM. That's basically it. I'm gonna call it. That's the finale. I'm I'm done. So with that, my final words will be: Thank you so much to those of you who stuck around for the entire journey. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed having my ass handed to me on so many occasions, not just the Elite Four, but throughout this journey. Boy, we, there, there was some rough moments through this journey. As I said, I'm generally surprised we made it this far. So, as I said on Twitter, I want to make this very clear in this particular episode too. There is no other um, series coming after as well for like Extreme Ruby. There's, I, I'm going to call it like quits until Sword and Shield for just Pokemon in general. Um, we will though see a return of Pokemon Ranger and Detective Pikachu. I just need to fix my motherboard before they return because my capture card is not working at the moment due to my USBs not working. So they will return, but they will be the very last Pokemon stuff you will see until Sword and Shield comes out because I'm basically taking a hiatus from Pokemon just because I am going through so much of a burnout with Pokemon. So until then, this will probably be replaced with... I don't know what at the moment, but it will be replaced with something non-Pokemon related. So, haven't decided what that's going to be, but hopefully you guys enjoy it regardless. And I think that's basically it. Again, another thank you to everyone who supported the series. It was really fun. If I wasn't so burnt out, I would continue and do another type of randomizer type of thing. I did actually have something in mind that I wanted to do. I actually had two things in mind that I wanted to do for another randomizer. But they're going to be on hold until after Sword and Shield, where hopefully my burnout for Pokemon is completely gone. And hopefully I get a bit of a re revitalization for the series. Alright. <coughs> I'm about to die, so I think it's about the perfect time to wrap it up. So, having said that, make sure you guys stay beautiful. And until the next time, when we either meet up for another Pokemon series, or for the new series coming, or whatever... Stay beautiful, and until next time, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!